All right, well, yeah, perfect. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, let's go. Oh, they're breaking this fast. I can't believe we haven't woken up more Zs. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this uh, game on the same difficulty. The zombies are all set the name of our speed. Uh, our map is generated by Nitrogen, and it is a 100% wasteland map with one small green biome somewhere that we are on the on the hunt for, but we haven't found yet. Okay, so I spent uh, the night and uh, most of the morning just kind of securing uh, the prison here, which is our new, um, at least temporary base. And so um, I thought I'd bring you back at this point and show you uh, the final preparations that I'm going to do. Uh, but basically, I busted out all of the, uh, well, three of these, you know, railings here and put boards up so I can quickly pull those up if I, you know, if I need to. Um, I went around to all four towers and busted out the, uh, the ladders, um, up to two rungs and, and put a frame just, just for extra safety caution. Um, so that way the, the Zeeks can't get up into the towers. Uh, cause one of the things they could, would be able to do if they could get up there is they could then get up at the very top and then jump down onto that wood roof and get to us from the inside. Um, I repaired the wall. I didn't actually go along this whole wall here but i repaired some holes in the wall looks like we have a couple more trash that we can loot um looks like this wall is in pretty good shape though if we stay here for any length of time i'll probably actually upgrade that to concrete i uh, dug a little down here to get some clay so i could um do uh, make some cobblestone and so we did that I haven't gone out into the actual yard yard yet and then a um, couple other things. You'll notice that on my toolbar, I have now have a steel sledge, because last night I put um, I put the land claim block down here, and we had some Z's come in, and I just fought them through this hole, and one of them dropped a yellow bag, and it had this uh, steel sledgehammer in it, which is um, quite a bit better than the yellow one we were using previously. Um, it has a little less durability, but it's better in every other way. Significantly better. Uh, so it was nice to find that. And then let's see what else we do. Uh, I busted out all the stairs down to here. Um, and I'm just going to leave this part the way it is for now. Uh, but over here, I have something I want to try. Oh, you know what? I was going to wrench. I was going to wrench this. Uh, uh, washing machine here. Let's do that now and we get the resources out of it. Uh, but the idea behind um, this whole setup is that if zombies do actually get in down below, um, which wouldn't be easy for them to do, but they certainly could eventually, then what we can do is um, fight them here. So let's get back up here. Um, I'll upgrade that down there to actually let's just do it right now get that upgraded cobble okay um so the idea is that we're going to put some quarter blocks in here uh flagstone pole quarter block i think that's center though i don't want center where's the oh wow do we not have Here, let's look at that. Oh, that center. Yeah, okay. This is the one I want then. All right, so what what does it do if we do on face? Pss, pss, pss. Uh, you know what? Actually, that could work. Yeah, actually, that could work fine. Because then we can, you know, then we can still get at them and whack their heads down there. Um, we're going to, I'm going to need to upgrade this cement to reinforced. So... At some point, I'd like to go back to that construction site and grab that concrete that we found. Uh, but the idea here is that we put this stuff, uh, put these blocks in here, and then they can't 
jump up, right? <clears throat> um, especially if there's a group of them because, you know, they could jump on each other's shoulders. But this will essentially prevent that from happening. They won't be able to get to us, and we can just sit up here and, and wail on their head to our heart's content, essentially. Um, you know what? Let's move this over here. Just put it in that corner. Okay, yeah, so that should work fine. Let's go ahead and upgrade this to cobble. And then eventually we'll upgrade it to concrete. I mean, we could even take this railing out and bring that all the way across, but we'll just leave it the way that it is for now. Uh, let's we'll see. What else do we do? We made a fireplace. We put our grill and our, our cooking pot in there. I made a total of five bacon and eggs, but I had to eat one because my <clears throat> stamina was down quite a bit from all the work we've been doing. Um, I, the gasoline that I got from that one car, well, I, I, from like two cars or so, before we had to um, get into the building, it didn't take long for the ferals to, to spawn in and start chasing me. Um, didn't last a whole, very long, so I ended up having to use the pick for most of the work that we did overnight. Okay, so, um, oh, I did, we got another point, and I <clears throat> did go ahead and take that point in, um, in Sexy T, okay? Um, <clears throat> and we'll keep working on that, among other things. I'm, I'm really strongly considering for my next point to, uh, get advanced engineering, just so we can make a forge and... Because we need a forge. But I think before I do that, let's go ahead and loot the tool store. Because we might find a schematic for the forge in the tool store. Um, or a working forge, maybe, I don't know. Um, or a working workbench or a, or a schematic for a workbench or some cool tools. <laughs> so I, th I think I want to give that a shot first. It's kind of too bad we don't have a library in town. And maybe we do. I mean, we haven't explored the whole entire town. Um you know, to, to give ourselves one last chance to find those schematics before I start putting points into that stuff. So let's see. Let's get rid of that guy. Um, if we take the auger with us, we'll have to get more gasoline, and it's going to make a hell of a lot of noise. I think I think we're going to leave that behind, and we're just going to rely upon our steel pick to break open any safes or anything that we come across. Um, all right, so we still need to eat. So we're, we need, we're still, yeah, we're 30 some odd points down. That's 36. Please don't make me sick. Okay, good. Whew. Um, that should get us really close to the top there. Uh, our hydration is good. Plus we have, uh, I made some uh, clean water last night. I still have a bunch of murkies left over too. We still have 20 meat um, and we can, and, and three bacon eggs. I guess I already said that. So we're in pretty good shape, you know, for food, water and all that kind of thing for sure. Let's see. We've got nine repair kits with us. That should be enough. Let's leave... The cobblestone here. Um, we're oh wow, we are low on wood. We're really low on wood. Okay, we might have to go knock a tree down or two. <clears throat> We've got 416 stone. Yeah, we're we're in pretty good shape for stone. This I don't think we need to bring the shovel with us into the tool store. I don't think. Let's repair it though. It's Pretty much broken. Might as well repair this and this too. Get everything all repaired and ready to go. Um, oh, the other thing too is we're we're like pretty much out. We are out of crossbow bolts. Um, so we you know we need to go after some feathers. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that here then, too, since we can't use it. There's no point in carrying it around with us. Uh, but we do have our pistol. Okay, so let's put the wood frames back down there, and we'll put the axe there for the moment. No, actually, let's put uh, stones there. All right, guys, let's go. Hit that tool store. This is going to be interesting, to say the least. I'm really happy that we found that steel sledgehammer, though, man. That's a nice find. Even though it's a crap one, it's still... You know, way better than the one we were using. Like, by a mile. Alright, we're just going to nerd pull for now to get up and, up and down out of this place. Oh, you know what else we could do? Let's make a drop chest. Oh, I do that all the time. It's not called drop chest. I just call it that. <laughs> I type drop in there going, how come there's nothing in there? And we'll put it 
um, up here so we can reach it. Mm, should we put it down there? Yeah, this should be okay right there. The only thing that would break that off is if a, if a cop spit got up there. And yeah, there were cops wandering around last night. Okay, so we got to figure out how we're going to play this. Um, the problem with the front is there's so many windows that they could break through, and we need to control, as usual, we need to control their pathing. Boy, man, this is not going to be easy, you guys. This is not going to be easy. So I'm thinking that we see if we can get in through that door there. Basically, when you do these stores like this, you have two... Well, there's really three... There's really four... <laughs> now that I think of it... No, there's two. No, there's three. No, there's four. There's really four areas that zombies will spawn. <clears throat> they spawn in the in the front room, of course. Um, they, they spawn in the back room. They spawn in the bathroom, and they spawn on the roof. And um, depending upon how things go, we might have to fight all four of, uh, of those zombies. You know what? I was thinking about something. Is there a snowball's chance in hell we could bust the bottom two rungs off of here without anybody hearing us? I just want to peek around the corner and make sure there's no Zika Ruskies coming. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's let's go ahead and make a <clears throat> a platform. We'll just put it right here. Oh, wood. That's right. We need wood. Eh. How much wood do we have? 11 pieces? Oh, that's not that's not enough. All right, we got to go get wood before we do anything else. There's a tree over there. We are, like, really low. Like, mondo really low on wood. While we're in town here, we're going to keep everything that we loot. Well, almost everything. Not like out on the road where we throw a bunch of stuff away because we don't have room for it. We did find that chainsaw too, but man, I don't want to use that. <laughs> Not right now. I'd like call so many zombies over to us. Hey, there's another one of those yellow trailer house things. We could go loot the stuff in the kitchen. Okay, what did that give us? Uh, 124 pieces. Yeah, that's good enough for now. That'll work. Oh, I just saw... I thought I saw a dog run that way. Maybe it was the buzzard flying low. It was moving fast, too. Yeah, that must have been the buzzard. Okay. <clears throat> so. Can we bust these bottom two rungs off? Because that would give us a place to retreat. Now, there's probably Zs on the roof, too, but we'll, you know, we just have to deal with them. Okay, here we go. Let's just try it. <laughs> that didn't work so well, did it? All right. Well, you know what? These guys might... These guys might make their own little murder holes for us to kill them. I should probably... Uh, get these upgraded though first, right? In case we actually have to use them. We'll upgrade both of them. Okay.
Nobody coming. All right, let's try out our new steel sled. Hey, what the hell? Oh, it's a crawler. Oh, well, we can't kill him that way. <laughs> Anybody coming? I'm so nervous standing out here like this. Wouldn't it be funny if both of these guys are crawlers? Okay, you're not. Here, have a steel sledge. How you like that, homie? Some good stuff, isn't it? Okay, well, we're gonna have to, uh... We're gonna have to kill easy. We're gonna have to let him out and kill him. All right, come on, buddy. Well, not th not with that. We gotta kill him quietly. Okay, so this gets us in the bathroom. I don't want to upgrade that all the way because if we need to make a quick exit out of here, uh, I want to be able to do that. All right, let's block that off too. Is that door, that door's locked. Oh shoot, that's gonna make a lot of noise opening that. Okay, well let's just loot in here first, here we go. Damn, that's loud. Well, we're finding plenty of pipe wrenches. Ooh, nice food. All the toilets and stuff that are in the prison, that's stuff I can work on at nighttime. All right. Um, <clears throat> so this isn't necessarily a bad setup here. Let's um, Let's punch through the wall here. There are usually a lot of sleepies in here. I really wish that I had my my crossbow with me. See if we can bust open these two crates without waking anybody up. Okay, let's try the next one. Nice. Okay, so we've got a dude there. I don't really have any way to get his attention without waking everybody up, which I don't really want to do. Ooh, that's loud. Yeah, here's here's what we need to do. Here's what we need to do. Let's um let's upgrade this. And then we're going to bust this out. Oh my god, that's loud. And then just put a frame in there. That'll prevent zombies from jumping up in there, but they won't likely hit on the frame. At least we hope they don't. Okay, so um I guess we're just going to have to make some noise and wake him up. Don't know what else we can do here. Can we throw a rock in there? <laughs> we hit him on the head. Well, damn it, this was this is a crappy time to not have our crossbow bolts. But I have no feathers back at the base. I don't wanna I mean it's already 
what is it? It's, it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon, so we got to go. All right, well let's uh let's get this party started. I hope this doesn't kill us. Wow, really? There's nobody else back here. There's someone way over there. Okay. Yeah, if we can just wake up, you know, one or two at a time, that's ideal. What the hell are you doing, man? That is bizarre. All right, well, yeah, perfect. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, let's go. Oh, they're breaking this fast. I can't believe we haven't woken up more Zs or gotten anybody else's attention. <laughs> uh, but we didn't. Okay. All right, let's loot. Come on, game. Give us something good for a change. <clears throat> Put that uh, two points on Lucky Looter to work for us. That's not what I had in mind. Okay. Um, let's grab the chairs for wood. of a dog. Really? Let's do the same thing we did in the other room. We've got to have a, a way to get out of here quickly. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Back to this. So we'll do the back room and then, then we'll try out the front room. I probably won't bother going up on the roof unless we need to get away or something. Yeah, I didn't take them construction dudes long at all to break that bottom block. I mean, they, they shredded it. I saw it coming. Okay, what you got, man? Nice. More shotgun shells. Is this brown shotgun better than our existing? It is. A little faster, 10 points more of durability. However, this one is still at full capacity. So I think we'll keep using that until it wears out and then we'll switch them over. Uh, don't really need nails for anything right now. Can't think of anything I would use those for except for the storage bins, which is not a priority right now. Not sure what else nails are used for in this game now. Used to have to use them to make the bellows. Give us a magazine. Nope. 
We'll take the paper, though. Remember when we used to have to gather up these little shopping baskets to make the mini bike? <laughs> Those were the days. Those were the days. I was looking on my Steam page, and uh, <clears throat> I'm I'm getting close to to three thousand hours on this game. That's how much I've played it. Well, we won't have any shortage of wrenches. Dang. Keeps giving us this crap. Come on. Come on, man. Give us something decent, please. That's decent. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. All right, cool. So we've got a steel fire axe, a steel tool, and a steel shovel. Very nice. You know, we could actually use that to upgrade one of our doors. Uh, all right, so that's it for... This back room, we are encumbered. Can we... What is that? That's that same metal. Uh, okay, here's what I want to do. I want to go... Drop stuff off uh, at our chest there. And then we can um, do the front. But I want a, an access... On this end of the building, not so we don't have to run all the way back that other way. All right. Oh wow, the zombies must have busted all that stuff out of there. Okay, let's see. We'll keep this, put that away. That's good. Um, <laughs> zombies have spawned in the prison yard. Okay. That's not a big deal because we've secured the place. All right. What was I saying? I was going to... Oh, we don't really need the stone axe anymore. Because we've got a hammer for repairs, and we got an axe and a pick for the other stuff. Yeah, so we're good on that. Okay. Let's head on back in here. How much wood do I have? 93. Okay. If I have time, I'd like to get a little more wood before we're all finished with this this little adventure all right so let's see zombos are going to try and come through here is this that same no that's wood uh, all right Concrete. Well, I don't know if it's concrete, but it's 500 hit points. Okay, let's see. Let's get um. Let's get this on the toolbar and make some noise. 
Alright, hopefully we don't get a ton of these. Really? What in the world? Oh, it's it's easy. It's easy. All right, can we get him to come through here? Easy. Easy. Hello. Come on, dude. You're so stupid. <laughs> okay. Thirsty, huh? Uh, let's eat this. I have a drink, too. Let's see if we can open this without waking up that sleeper up on the shelf. Let's not go up there yet. I'm looking up on the shelves to see how many more of them are in here. There's a big mama up there. All right. Doesn't look like there's a bazillion in here. So let's hit this one. That's really all we have is the one big mama who just... No, she's the next aisle over. I was going to say she just disappeared, but... And the cheerleader. Uh, we should be able to take them out pretty easily. Shit, I forgot to put my uh, hammer down here. That was close. Oh, she wants to come that way now? Really? Alright. Have it your way, lady. Well, now you're back over here again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, next time, note to self, make sure your hammer's on your damn toolbar before you do that. Too many things to remember, man. Okay, let's loot the front. Well, there's uh, some tires there. When the time comes. Big Mama's still over there. Get 
Here she comes. Hi, big mama. Okay, so unless another one repops, we should this place should be clear. sure there isn't one lying down on the floor that we missed. There still could be one behind that counter too for that matter. Any machine? Alright, this is our last chance to get something good. Motor tool parts. Maybe that might come in handy later. I don't know. Okay, tool store is looted. Um, we've got an anvil and we got a, a steel fire axe. Those are the two pretty decent things we got out of here. Everything else was just meh for the most part. Drop stuff off here. Which one of these hammers is the best? These two are identical. I, I want to go um, before it gets too dark. I want to cut some wood. So let's go ahead a couple of trees. And wouldn't mind uh, getting some more feathers either. It's just a stone. The uh, the football stadium there has a bunch of football players in it, and they are dangerous zombies. So we're not going in there anytime soon. Put it that way. <laughs> Happy to have all steel tools, though. That doesn't suck. Peas. Let's eat those now. That'll get us right, right back to the top, and then some. One more paper. All right. Are there any birds' nests over in this area? There's another kind of construction site area. There's a bird's nest. Come on, feathers. Okay, we got five. Ah, shoot. Whatever that is, we already know it. Mountain lines. Yeah, that, that'll never happen. Not on this playthrough. 
there are no, there's no snow snowbound for there to be mountain lions for us to go after. Twelve hundred tree. I'll get us a nice little pile of wood and some coal to boot. Okay, let's get this tree. And I want to I want to go look over there on that construction site really quick to see if there's if there's any concrete over there. Workbench. Ideal scenario is that it has a schematic. That way we can make our own. Put it where we want. <sighs> All right. It'll happen eventually. It'll happen eventually. I don't have my shovel with me to grab that cobble. Is this a construct? Yeah, it is construction. Does it have any tools? Station workstations. Oh, it's got lots of cement. Cement doesn't do us any good until we get a cement mixer. Oh, there's a cement mixer right there. And some stone we can get too. And it works. Okay, okay, okay. So let's uh I'm going to come back here in the morning, I think, because we got to get back. That is a lot of cement. Look at that. That's awesome. Lots of stone here, too. So, yeah, I'm going to come back in the morning, um, and we're, we're actually going to get some concrete going because I need it for a few things. Uh, but, guys, I'm going to uh, go back to the prison while it's just right over there. I'm going to hit a couple more trees and maybe a car or two before uh, nightfall arrives which is happening in less than one in-game hour so let's uh, pause the game so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh we got through the tool store um i'm overall not super super pleased with the loot i mean we didn't get anything the, the steel fire axe was a nice find there's no doubt about it so i can't complain about that but you know for the large tool store you'd think we would have gotten a, you know something a, little, a few more good things we did get the emblem that's not bad but anyway um it's all good the, the more important thing is we didn't get killed <laughs> <laughs> so uh we we have the um we have the shamway store and we have the pop and pills i think what we'll we'll do is we'll shoot for the pop and pills tomorrow uh in uh, in the next episode and uh go from there okay so thanks for watching we'll catch you in that next episode i'm just going to work around uh, the president night to rinse all those toilets and just do whatever i need to do and wait for morning okay bye bye